gadgets. Okay, on gadget day, um, I'm gonna do a couple of kitchen gadgets. <laughs> we are cracking out the thermal cooker and re-familiarizing ourselves with it. Yeah. Today we're looking at some alternative ways to heat things, light things and cook things um, based on some of our impulse buys that we've done at uh, shows over the years. very favourite gadgets which is a Nebo lamp and torch. A flashlight here. Pull it out and it makes a table lamp. So it's very bright which is good for out in your morning or if you don't want to use your electrics in the van. This is the best bit click it again and you've got a simulated candle effect which I love so it's called the Nebo also um, in addition to providing light it's also a power pack and you can charge all your devices so your phones and anything that's charged on the USB you can charge on there. My one's one of those impulse buys at the uh, show many years ago is the Diablo, so it's like a, a kind of a miniature ridge monkey, kind of a ridge marmoset, if you will. How it works is like a single toasty thing. And what we found, now this is kind of gadget friendly bread, which is little round circles of. You grease up the inside, um, just wipe it around, or wipe it around in there, wipe this one around in here. Quite a, quite a mountain of cheese because it needs to be quite well compressed. Something I prepared earlier, like this, much like, uh, for those of you who have ridge monkeys, much similar the process. We pop it on there. So what can you use the Diablo for? So cheese is a basic bit of ham in, or this is fig jam, you throw something in. Do an egg, I can do like a little omelette, miniature omelette in there. Oh, nice. It probably takes two or three minutes each side. This one's been done pretty quickly and we didn't bring any butter Ooh, with us. look at that. Right, so you end up with a little toasty sandwich with the word Diablo written on the top. Mm -hmm. My husband bought me this lovely piece of kit. Instead of breaking your bottles of wine on your trip. So, very nice. Um, this one came from Harrods, although I don't think he got it from Harrods. I got it from eBay. <laughs> Cheapskate. <laughs> but you need to keep it cool. So this just goes in our freezer compartment in the fridge. And you pop it over your bottle like that. And it keeps your fizz or wine lovely and cool for the whole evening. One of the best things, which we haven't used for a while, but we're sampling today, is our thermal cooker. And in there is a lovely curry cooking away. So we prepared it before we went to the pub for lunch. And um, it probably will take four or five hours to really make the meat lovely and tender and the vegetables lovely and tender. And um, so we'll show you that later. We're making Easy slow cooker chicken curry. That is what it looks like. Well, that's what it's supposed to look like. And we'll see what it does look like. <laughs> this is the thermal bit. So it's basically a massive big flask with a lid. And inside the flask goes the pot but we have to cook everything in the pot, make sure it's really hot before it goes in the flask. And you cook it for a few hours, so you could get it all ready before you leave your house in your camper van or tent or whatever. Not that you'd leave in a tent because that'd be silly. But there's a, I've got a separate rice pot, so you put your rice in there when you're cooking it all up, get it to boil 
and then you stick it in the top on the top of your curry or your whatever you cook casserole and then the rice cooks at the same time right one cup of rice three cups of water and bring that up to the boil add onions chicken garlic and ginger to a slow cooker pot I say onions, chicken and garlic. Just want to brown the chicken. I'm sort of trying to brown the chicken off a bit, just give it a bit of colour. I cut the chicken quite small because then it's got less work to do with the cooking process. What's that? Do you smell chickens? <laughs> Four tablespoons it says of that. About half a teaspoon of hot chilli powder. It's supposed to be cayenne pepper, but I haven't got any, so hot chilli powder is what we're going to have. It's looking good. And the nosy down the old pot hole. Drop tomatoes. In they go. Four tablespoons. Four tablespoons, that's a lot, isn't it? Mm, that's going to be lovely and sweet. Looks good. 200 millilitres of coconut milk. Right, that's the creamy bit. Of course, no nuts in this recipe. The trick now is to get it really nice and hot in the pot. So properly smash it for like 10 minutes or something, is it? Yeah, I think All so. Right. Just... Okay. But when that is ready, I'm going to just bring the heat up on the rice pot and then chuck it in and then shove it in the Shove it in the thermal Shove jacket. Shove it in the thermal and then... And then go down the pub. And then go down the pub. <laughs> Back in 10 minutes then. See that that is really bubbling away nicely now. That up, as you can see, that's bubbling away nicely too. Pop that on top of there. That on top of there. So for the other kitchen gadget, the humble peg. The humble I was peg. going to mention the peg. I think that's one of the best gadgets. Right. Now, these are amazing. They're just simple towels, but they dry really quickly. So um, in the winter, when you can't dry things outside, we can put it on our little aerer in the bathroom, and that'll be dry in next to no time. So. Um, even in the summer we generally take these because they're so quick to dry. You can um, actually double up as a sarong if you want to, if you go to the beach and be a bit shy. We've also, in a similar, now these cost us a lot, arm and a leg, but they might become more popular, but they're like little dressing gown robes. So we just hang these in our shower, little shower cubicle. We've got something to put on when we can't help but dries quickly. So, yeah, they're, um, yeah, I suppose they're not really a gadget, but they're useful things to have in a camper van. Ow. Ow. <laughs> right? They're like a proper strong espresso type of deal. Oh, can you hear it percolating? <clears throat> it smells amazing. Do you know when it's done? It's when it stops boiling, you know it's done. All the coffee has gone up into the top. Mm. Beautiful. Dark coffee. Yeah. I'm going to have my coffee. I just had a bite of that, it's delicious. Comte. I thought it was a bit mission. Comte toasty. Oh, yeah. And the last gadget that we want to talk about today is our fire pit. Um, so yeah, you've got your little your little fire pit mat so you make all this up into this little fire pit it's great so like if you've got a chilly evening in the summer and you want to toast some marshmallows it's absolutely perfect and it folds up into this little bag and they're really cheap they're about like 15 quid or something Enjoy. Okay, looks great. Mm. 
really good. Coconut and the mango. Oh. Lovely, those fruits could take half a bottle of champagne, I reckon. Or a bigger bottle. And here we are at the Motorhome and Caravan Show 2023. So we're going to have a look around, see what we can find. <laughs> We're not in the vans, we're in the Chelsea tractor. Enjoying the breakfasts back there. Look at the sticker, well done. Paul, you've been shopping. Yes. Good. Spent lots of money. Spent lots of money, yeah. lovely.